kafir dari Indonesia. Usir ke badan atau kebaktian di lokasi. Police had a clear message on Sunday morning. This Christian congregation is not allowed to hold their weekly church service. Hundreds of police blocked the road to prevent the Christians from walking in procession to land where they want to build a church. In the name of the law and our constitution, I urge the police, our beloved police, not to make this great mistake and protect us so we can pray on our land. The Christians were banned from the site by a local mayor after protests on Friday from hardline groups. They demonstrated against the construction of the new church and the detention of 10 people who have been arrested for attacking and seriously wounding two church leaders last Sunday. The mayor offers Christians buses instead, which will bring them to an alternative location, something they refuse, citing their constitutional right to pray on their own land. I am so sad. I am full of tears. I've been suffering for 20 years, always being intimidated. I feel as if we are not being seen as real Indonesians. A standoff between Christians who want to pray on their land and police who is blocking the road. The Christians are saying that the police and the president are violating the constitution to prevent them to pray. But the police say they only do this to maintain security. The police chief rejects the accusation that he violates the Christians' constitutional right to pray. We don't violate the constitution because everyone has a duty to pay attention to local wisdom. The local people don't want them to pray there, so the Christians should respect that. The Christians urge the police to stay neutral and also protect minorities in predominantly Muslim Indonesia. How is it possible that we are forbidden to pray and why does our priest have to be beaten up? Aren't we Indonesians who have a right to pray? Overpowered by police, the Christian congregation decided to cancel their church service. They prayed in an overcrowded house instead. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Bekasi, West Java. There's no place for infidels in Indonesia, this man screams. Sentiments are rising against the construction of a church in the suburb of Jakarta. Members of hardline groups like the Islamic Defenders Front took to the streets to show their anger at the increase of churches in predominantly Muslim Indonesia. Indonesia is not an Islamic state, but it's also not a state of evil. We have rules in this country. If someone wants to build a mosque or a church, he has to follow the rules. The conflict escalated on Sunday when Reverend Luspida Simanjuntak and a church elder were seriously wounded during an attack on their way to hold a church service on an empty plot of land in Bekasi, West Java. Ten people have been arrested for stabbing and beating the two church leaders. The reverend makes a plea to the police to protect her congregation of 1,500 members from future attacks. We really hope nobody will die. That's why I say to the police, if something happens again this Sunday, I will hold the police responsible for not protecting us. At the root of the conflict lies a disputed government regulation that forces Christians and Muslims to obtain support from the community first before building a house of worship. The congregation in Bekasi says it received enough signatures to build their church until hardliners force people to withdraw their support. This is a Muslim neighborhood. We know that. Indonesia is predominantly Muslim. If we have to follow this regulation, how can we ever obtain a permit to build a church? To ask the government to revoke or revise the regulation, Christians together with moderate Muslims took to the streets. It's a rare sight in predominantly Muslim Indonesia, Christians are demonstrating. In a country that is proud of its tolerance and diversity, they now feel that their rights are being hampered. Not only Christians, but also a moderate Muslim majority is worried about increasing intolerance and the government's lack of action. They consider Indonesia as the place of the moderate Muslim, the seat of the smiling Islam. But the fact is that not only because uh, they are facing very, very serious problem, but they also consider that now Indonesia is uh, leading to, to the situation in which also the place of the angry Islam. 
The government is urged to take firm action against hardline groups using violence. Otherwise, the fragile balance between different religions could lead to a more serious conflict, damaging Indonesia's famous face of tolerance and diversity. Stab Fasen, Al Jazeera, West Java.